Oh, hello guys. Sorry, it's a bit of a wobbly start. I'm going to take you through um, long multiplication today. This is a quick refresher. So let's. What we mean by long multiplication is where we have got um, four digits um, times by uh, either two or three digits where we have to do another step involved. So let's start off with an example of 4,387 times 23. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is set it out in a column, 4387 times 23. And I'm lining it up um, using my place value, just checking that I've copied everything down correctly. Okay, so the first thing we're doing was we're multiplying this by three. As a single digit, that means that we just have to multiply it out. 7 times 3 is 21, okay, 1 goes down, the 20 goes across to the 10s, 3 times 8 is 24, add on that extra 2, we end up with 26, 3 times 3 is 9, add the 2, gives me 11, 3 times 4 is 12, add the 1, we end up with 13, because we've got nothing to carry over to. Um, now I'm going to be multiplying by 20, I need to show that, that I'm really going to multiply by 2, and then times it by 10 at the end, which is why I'm using 0 as a placeholder there, because my answer is going to be a multiple of 10. So 2 times 7 is 14. Okay, my second set of carrying I tend to put above. I sometimes cross out um, to make sure that I don't get muddled. Um, 2 times 8 is 16. Add the 1, 17. 2 times 3 is 6. Add the 1 is 7. No carrying over there. I'm going to ignore that one. 2 times 4 is 8. Again, no carrying. Okay, I've done all my multiplying, so now I just need to add these two together. I always do a second column there in case I carry, uh, carry then at the bottom. 1 add 0, 6 add 4 is 10, 7 add 2 is uh, 9, 7 add 1 add 1, 3 add 7 is 10, 8 add 1 add 1 is another 10. So we end up here with 100,901. Okay, so let's try that again. Let's try um, 5,938, multiply that by 54, okay, and same thing. I didn't write it out above there, um, so let's just start with 8 times 4, 32. 3 times 4 is 12, add the 3 is 15. 4 add 9 is 36, add the 1 is 37. 4, add five is um, 4 multiplied by 5 is 20, add the 3, 23. Okay, I'm finished with that 4. As I'm now multiplying by 50, I'm putting down a placeholder. 5 times 4, uh, so 5 times 8 is 40. 0 goes down, new, multi uh, new carrying at the top. 5 times 3 is 15, add the 4 is 19 same carrying. I am going to rewrite it again just because when I go back to check this I always need to be checking my carrying. If I can see that I've carried over three and then four, one and then one, it is really important. Um, so we're up to um, three, nine times five is 45 at the one, 46 and again showing that extra carrying. Five times five is 25 at the four is 29. Okay, two, 5, 7 and 9 is 16, 3 and 6 and 1 is 10, 2, 11, 12, and I end up with 320,652. Okay, and if I were to go back and check this, okay, just double check, 8 times 4 is 32, using my two fingers there to check that I've got that 32. 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 8 is 22, 3 times 4 is 12, add the 3 is 15, 4 times 9 is 36, add the 1, 37, 4 times 5 is 20, add the 1 is 23, 0 down, 5 times 8 is 40, 0 goes down, 4 goes up, 3 times 9 is 15, and 19, excellent. Um, 35, 36, excellent, 25 and 3, uh, so 25, have I made a mistake here? Oh no, it was 5 times 9, it was 45, wasn't it? 5 times 5 is 25, add the 4 is 29, 2, 5, 16, 10, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
and three across. It's harder to check, um, but it is definitely worth it, especially as um, these are worth two marks on our arithmetic paper. Um, so you've always got one of these to practice, and this is just a walkthrough in case you need it. Okay, I'll see you for the next um, video, which is going to be about multiplying decimals.